Don't forget to stay tuned till the end to watch a video by our sponsor. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Atajanya. <laughs> Alright guys, so two days ago the Mu'addin of Regent's Park Mosque got stabbed during Salah. It said the attacker was actually aiming for the Imam. The congregation rather bravely apprehended the attacker till the police came. According to many reports, uncle got stabbed in the neck but now Alhamdulillah he is fine. But however, when meeting him, amongst the questions asked by Sky News, they also asked him this. Do you forgive the man for what he's done? Now hang on just a minute right there. I don't know about you, but if you've just been stabbed in the neck two days ago, asking if you forgive the attacker is quite possibly the dumbest question you could ask. Now this is a new low for Sky News. I mean, it does beg the question, what next can we expect from them? Uh, help me! I've just been stabbed! This is Brian from Sky News, I just wanted to ask you there, do you forgive the person that just stabbed you? What? I don't really know what he's saying, is, is that a no? Is that quite possibly a yes? He didn't forgive the perpetrator. And he's dead. Oh, he's getting all over my shoes! If he decided to say he forgave the person, I mean that's cool yeah, that's coming from him. But why put him in that position to have to answer a question like that? And are worried to think if he actually said no, he doesn't. Suddenly a man, that's a victim who's been stabbed, would suddenly end up looking like some sort of bad guy. Or even if the sympathy level for him decreased, why put him in that position? Do you forgive the man for what he's done for you? Forgive him. Why are you not? I'm, uh, I'm very, I feel very sorry for him. I feel very sorry for him. To, be, to me, yes, I mean, as a Muslim, I don't I mean, put any hatred in my heart. What is done is done. He's not going not to return my, you know, to yes. me. I, I feel okay. It's okay. This is my fate. You know, we are Muslims. This is my fate. Whatever happened to me. I'm not going not to contest it. But I do rate the uncle though because not only does he give an amazing answer but he decided to showcase a vital tenant of faith which many people struggle with and that is taqdeer, fate. So much love to uncle, may Allah bless him, may Allah increase him and yeah, Whew. a lot's been going on the last couple of days but um, inshallah I've uh, been away so I'm back now so let's see what I can cover. Let's have a word from our sponsor yeah. Uh, respected uh, listeners, uh, I've been asked to uh, make uh, an appeal for a center in Oslo in which uh, the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be taught, the Quran will be taught. Every single one of us is in need of doing as many amals as possible and there is nothing better than to make an investment in terms of your akhirah and the best way and the best reward that you will get is if you participate in centers like this because once you've left this world the sadaqah you will keep on receiving I mean just for reciting the Quran for every letter that you recite the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said for every letter you will get 10 deeds so if you read something like Alif Lam Meem for Alif you will get 10 deeds for Lam you will get 10 deeds and for meme that you will get 10 deeds. So on a daily basis when the youngsters memorize the Quran and recite the Quran, you will be receiving thousands and thousands of deeds and it will not come to an end because whoever becomes a Hafiz in this institute, he will be teaching others to become Hafiz. He will be teaching others to recite the Quran and this reward that you will get will keep on continuing right till the day of judgment. My young friends, if this is a golden opportunity, Please, please, please participate in this good deed. You will not regret it on the day of judgment. Allah give me tawfiq, Allah give you tawfiq. Wa akhiru dawan and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.